Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You, you wish, wish Chandler, Chandler Bing. Bing. You are looking at a married lady now. You are looking at a married lady now. Oh. Janice is loving and um, slightly unaware. Uh, she doesn't really know what people are saying about her behind her back, but she always assumes the best in people, and uh, I love her. Hello! <laughs> the inspiration for Janice's voice really came from the writing. When I saw that first audition scene and, and she said, I, oh, I bought you these socks, mix and match, moose and squirrel. Well, I knew you had the Rockies, and so I figured, you know, you could wear Bullwinkle and Bullwinkle, or you could wear Rocky and Rocky, or you can mix and match moose and squirrel, <laughs> whatever you want. Really, I heard her. I knew who she was to me. You can never be sure if whoever is casting or the producers are going to be thinking the same way, but for me, I knew who I wanted to play. And, uh, and so that's what I did. And then the laugh was born on set, working with Matthew because he's too darn funny and I knew I was going to laugh. And I thought, well, this character better have a good laugh because Matthew's likely to crack me up more than once. Night, night, bing a -ling. Night, night, Janice. <laughs> I loved everything about Chandler's relationship with Janice because it was great fodder for comedy. So, you know, he didn't make Janice very happy. He was constantly uh, disappointing her. But for me as an actor, you know, I just absolutely loved opening the script when it came to my door and just finding out yet again what were they going to do with Janice and Chandler, what was going to go wrong with them and what was going to go right with them. Oh, my God. Working with Matthew was extraordinary. He's incredibly funny. His timing is amazing. He's very generous on set. He's just a wonderful actor to work with. And really, the entire cast of Friends is as, as wonderful as you imagine them to be. We had a great time working together, and, uh, and everybody was incredibly wel welcoming to me. And, uh, and it was just a great environment in which to make comedy. I have very wonderful fond memories of playing this character and I have many favorite moments. Uh, having to say goodbye to Chandler in the airport, 15 Yemen Road, Yemen writing his address down and knowing that I was going to write him where he actually wasn't going, uh, that was a, a high moment. I'll write you every day. 15 Yemen Road, Yemen. I happen to love the Valentine's episode. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> Where they get set up on a blind date uh, at, at the restaurant and she tells him that she's cut his head out of every picture that she has of the two of them and he can use them as puppets in his theater of cruelty. By the way, Chandler, I cut you out of all my pictures, so if you want, I have a bag with just your heads. <laughs> That's another big favorite moment. And of course, uh, you know, giving birth with Jennifer and with Rachel in, 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 uh, in the labor room. It's you. This is yours. What? Ah, look how nervous he gets. We haven't slept together in years. <laughs> I get approached by fans fairly frequently because Friends is now, you know, it, it already had an incredible fan base and now there are kids watching it. Netflix, you know, has brought friends to so many more millions of people. So I get stopped all over the place by people of every age and every nationality. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how many people love this show. Fans come up to me and they say, You love me, Chandler Bing. You just don't know you love me. You want me. You need me. You can't live without me. And you know it. You just don't know you know it. 
where would Janice be today? Let's see. Uh, I think that uh, if her kids are out of the house, I think she's probably designing a line of clothing, some leopard print clothing. Why not? And, you know, I do. I think she's got a relationship advice blog and that she's just giving a lot of wonderful advice. She had a lot of experiences, good and bad, and I think she's got lots to offer. I think that Friends is, in a strange way, this wonderful, universal uh, uh, experience of, of watching people grow up, of watching people uh, you know, manage conflict and disappointment and success and romance and, uh, and friendship. So, uh, and I just think that the writing is so funny. It endures and it endures year after year.